card. Hi guys, Wayne here for the Let's Play Get Gaming channel, and today I'm going to show you my most successful Survivor home camp to date in State of Decay. The reason I'm showing you guys this is to provide some tips and a guide showing you what I have found works when it comes to keeping your favourite characters and indeed the entire Survivor camp safe, sound and alive. I have had this setup on going now for a number of days and it currently shows no signs of wear and tear. The camp has not fallen victim to any zombie attacks, it has not fallen victim to any infestations and after waking up and checking on my camp it has even prospered overnight every single day thus far. So. Here is the secret to running a successful zombie apocalypse camp. Firstly, as you will see in this video, my safe zone circle is pretty huge and it covers a large chunk of the southwestern side of Marshall. This trick is necessary for success and survival. My home base is, as you guys can see, the Snyder's Trucking Warehouse, which I thoroughly recommend as it is the biggest and best base in the game. Once you have moved into the base, then comes the time to set up outposts. Each outpost you claim, if it touches your home base or another safety zone circle, will increase your total safety radius. In this video, you will see that I own two supermarkets, several warehouses in both the north and south sections, and a gun shop, which is the furthest safe zone to the east. In total, I have eight outposts and all of them are in the surrounding vicinity of my camp. This is, once again, to further increase my safe zone radius. The bigger your safe zone, the safer your camp, as zombies will not spawn inside the red circle. Again, as you can see in this video, the nearest zombies will spawn to my camp is the industrial warehouse behind my camp. However, this does not pose a threat at all as they are still too far out to launch an attack and I have also found that zombies in this area spawn inside the industrial warehouse, meaning that I have to actually go there, open the door and aggravate them for them to pose even a small threat, but even then, the zombies are in such a few number that I can just dispatch of them quickly and easily there and then. On a daily basis, make sure that you set traps on your outposts. In the event that a zombie horde does attempt to launch an attack on your base, as soon as they enter your safe zone circle, they will be obliterated completely, instantly. All hordes will die and the quest will be complete. They won't get even slightly close to your camp. As for the actual camp setup, you will see that at the time I recorded this video, I have a library that was researching a greenhouse to fully upgrade my garden. Currently, at the time of this video, my garden was manned by an expert farmer. As such, I yield more than enough food to feed everyone in the camp. Since I recorded this video, I have also used the library to research biodiesel. This means that with all of the excess food from the greenhouse, I can make fuel. Thanks to me also having an expert doctor to man the medical lab, there is now never a shortage of food, fuel or medicine at all. On a daily basis, I use the radio room to search for building materials and ammunition. It takes literally 10 minutes of time to find them. Within an hour, I have all of the building materials and all of the ammunition I need for my camp to survive successfully overnight without casualty. Due to camp morale constantly being high as there is never a shortage of anything, as well as the safe zone being so vast that nothing ever poses a threat, I would go as far as to say this is probably the best, or at least the safest home base camp setup out there, especially if, like me, you guys are high on the whole zombie simulation thing and you want a camp that can survive for a long period of time without having to constantly pack up and move due to attacks and issues. Hopefully, the things that you guys see and I explain to you in this video will help you guys set up the perfect home camp for your survivors that is safe, secure and never short of any materials. Until next time my friends, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for lots more State of Decay guides and content. Wayne here for the Let's Play Cat Gaming channel, saying goodbye.